Hello everybody, Will Sayer here. Welcome back for another satisfactory video. So this is video three now, I think. And we got the space elevator built. I did that. Uh, I showed the alternate blueprints that you can get from those downed uh, freight carrier things. Forgot exactly what these things are called, but they you complete the milestones and they go up into space and you unlock new stuffs. Um, but there's alternate blueprints with um, hidden inside, like downed ones. That, there's another one all the way over there too. Not just the one right next to where we were, but there's another one even farther that I still need to get. Showed that. I did some reorganizing of the power stuffs. So we got all four of these being fed and that's currently supplying our power but in between episodes I managed to actually get the smart plates built so that we can go ahead and launch this and complete phase one so let's go ahead and do that Oh, they changed this up a little bit. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 1 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 1 will be completed and the distribution platform will be constructed. After completion of Phase 1, the technologies of Tiers 3 and 4 will become available in the hub. Highlights are, automated power, steel production, personnel transportation, and many more. Completing Phase 2 of Project Assembly is your next main objective. New project parts will need to be produced and delivered to the space elevator as you have done previously. Continue to construct, automate, explore and exploit for a better fix-it future. Okay, so let's go ahead and send this. And this... That's so cool that it, like, disperses the clouds and stuff. Phase 1 of Project Assembly completed. This is only the beginning of Project Assembly, the first step towards saving the day. You have performed adequately so far. Reminder, not only is Fix-It saving humanity, it is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. It is statistically likely that you appreciate the continued existence of kittens and or puppies. Continue the work for their sake. Continue the work for Fix It. It is time to start the work on Phase 2 of Project Assembly. <laughs> okay. I love the new lo little voice lines that Ada has that just really kind of adds flavor to the game. <laughs> if you don't care about humanity, think about the kittens and the puppies. Sold. Okay. So now we have tier 3 and tier 4. Now, tier 4, we get blueprints, logistics 3, advanced steel production, expanded power, structure, hypertubes. Um, so this is all pretty cool, but we want tier 3 first, and we want to do the coal power. So we're going to select that. So, let's see here. I think what I want to do... Hmm. How much room do we have in our power grid? Okay, so we have a maximum of 120. Our max contract... Construction is sitting at 84. Um, okay. I think 
instead of that, what we're going to do... Can I make a constructor? I can. So now we can get the cables going. Foundations. Because that will get the cables going so that I'm not having to sit there making those manually. And next I should probably look into... Well, let's get rid of you for right now because we don't need that. Um, I may have to move that space elevator too. So... I'm thinking... Now we got cables being made. That's good. Come back over here, and I think I'm going to start working on both the rotors and the smart and the uh, not the smart plates. The I'll go get some more uh, cement so that I can expand this out a bit. And I'm look. What I'm going to be looking into doing is two. Of the assemblers, one for rotors and one for the uh, reinforced plates. Now that's going to require a considerable amount of the bolts, so I might want to. Oh, I already had a bunch of those on me. Okay, well, whatever. Um, I'm going to need to ramp up bolt production. So first things first, let's get rid of these because I there's like some alien ore stuff that spawned up there, but I think I don't think that stuff respawns. Oh wait, been playing on a friend's server map the weekend, uh, and I'm used to having things that I don't have in this world. <laughs> also, I'm getting a weird... One second, you guys. Okay. Uh, video, let's turn the... Where's the... No, not the motion blur. Where's the... V-Sync. Okay, good. That's not doing that anymore. Uh, there was a weird little, like, line that I was getting. I, I can't tell if it's in the video or not, but there was a little weird kind of distortion line that I was getting in the lo lower part of the screen. And that's usually because of uh, desync between the monitor and the game, like the computer. So hopefully v 
we'll fix that. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, right, I was going to expand this. I need to get rid of this stuff. Because we got an iron ore patch that I'm going to need. I am probably going to have to undo this and redo all of this. Maybe. Foundations. Doop. Should be enough room that way. However, I'm gonna have to move this thing, aren't I? Maybe, yeah. Hopefully, okay, good. back here. Now what I can do is I can move that Okay, and sorry for that pause. It was just a shortcut for you guys, but um, it was actually like a day or so for me, <laughs> and uh, here's the reason why. Uh, after I had unlocked the coal plants, I realized that there was still a significant amount that I needed to do uh, to really kind of balance this thing out to get... This is all automated now, and I unlocked some things. Oh, by the way, I unlocked the rebar gun like a while ago, and I didn't say anything about it. So in case you're wondering what this thing in my hand is... Thunk! It's a projectile launcher, so now dealing with the wildlife is a bit easier. So, yay on that. Uh, I got those fully stocked up because I ended up getting a bunch more of those materials. Uh, I have killed so many spiders. Uh, <laughs> so, now I got all this stuff going. I'm waiting. Oh, hey, cool, they're done. Perfect timing. So... What this advanced steel, so I got the basic steel production, so all these conveyor belts are like Mark III's now. When I got the coal plants up, I built three of them, and I'll show them in uh, a bit here, uh, thinking that, oh, I can have three at the start. Well, no, because the Mark II conveyors and the output for the Mark I mining things are so slow that they can't feed more than one generator at a time. So I had to upgrade a bunch of stuff to get it all three running. So now those three coal plants are running... They should be running all the power I need to run what I have. So what was I going to... Oh, I was going to finish this out real quick. All right. Now the cool thing there is, is that... Milestone reached. The Miner Mark II allows extraction of resources from nature to fix it at twice the speed of the Mark I model. Miners can be directly upgraded yep. to Mark II without removing the Mark I model, just like conveyor belts and other upgradable infrastructure. Unfortunately, setting up the production of advanced steel parts and project part number three, automated wiring, will not be as easy. 
Every moment you delay reduces the chances of saving humanity. I will not show you the predictions. It would only demotivate you. Thank you, Ada. Anyway, so yeah, we got the Mark II miners. Uh, that's what I was hoping for. So now I gotta make two more of these guys. And I have everything else. Well, I have everything else for one. I need four more of those cube things, and I need ten of... So I need I need cement. I don't have cement. I gotta go get the cement real quick. And then we're gonna head over to that area once I have all the things that I need. And I can show you guys what I built over there. Okay, now we're ready to go. Should have everything I need to upgrade those two miners. I'm gonna go ahead and toss the rest of these guys back in here so that this isn't uh, adding to the pile. Okay, so that's back. Now, if we come over here, we'll see this fancy little vehicle. So this is the first tier of, um, no, I want to drive it first tier of vehicle that you can get in the game and this just makes getting back and forth a lot easier. And I got it currently running off the little biofuel log things. But you can run it off just about anything that's a fuel source. So we're going to come over here. Across the water, thankfully it's not too deep. Uh, look at all of the way. Out of the way. Those things are extremely bouncy on top. You actually get an achievement for jumping on top of them. It's kind of funny. So the first area here, we've got our steel production. So this is making the steel tube things as well as the plates. It took forever to get these conveyor belts upgraded to MK3 because I had to wait for it to build the plates. And we come down to this flat area here, we see that I have my two coal miners. And then if we come over here, 
if you can see the coal plants in the distance. Again, as I said at the beginning of this game, if if you if seeing things like that frustrate you, this game is going to taunt you so much. Because a lot of the a lot of the power or especially in the early game, a lot of the power sources are uh, green emission kind. And I know that some people don't like seeing that stuff. They get frustrated because they like they like seeing promotion of um, clean energy uh, sources. Okay, so that's going good. Uh, so now... I had two miners. Where where do they go? There's one right there. Oh, it's because I I understand now. I had to have two in my inventory. That should have just upgraded. Let's see those. Okay, so now that those are upgraded, uh, also... Did I... Okay, so I did get those back. This one doesn't have a unit. Okay, so this thing, 60 per minute base, that's what I had it set to with the these guys. So now I can use those for other things. I actually might... Well, no, because it increases their water consumption. Uh, so basically how these coal gens work is that you obviously feed them coal... And then they suck water from a nearby water source, which is why I have them built out here. It's the easiest way to get water to them. And if you inspect them, you see that they burn fuel at 15 per minute. They also consume water at 50 per minute. It looks like, yeah. Basically, the simple math way of explaining this is that you have to have faster input than these things consume. Okay, so one of these things consumes 50. Each one of these guys puts out 120. Now, one of these guys will power two of these things, obviously. But because it only goes up to 120, you fall 30 short of the third one it will actually start consuming more water than just one of these guys can feed it. So that's why I have this one. So I could technically now probably put in a fourth generator here if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that quite yet. In fact, uh, in the multiplayer world, I built a power facility where it was... Um, Two of these guys were feeding like four of these things, I think. And I had to add a third one because I wanted to bump that up to like six or something. That's really rough math, and it's probably not 100% accurate. But the basic, uh, the basics of how you have to do this is that for every two of these you have to have one of these. Because, yeah, it has, like, that, that that 20 extra per one of these, but it's not enough to squeeze in a third one. So I wish... I kind of really wish that these would put out 150 even, just so that you could, like... It, it makes the math easier for a lot of people who don't like doing math, like me. Um, 
but the way they have it, you have to constantly remember that 120 is just enough to run two of these and still have enough extra to keep the pipes full. Because each one of these pipes has a liquid inventory. And it has a flow rate, the actual flow rate, and the max flow rate. So I think for now, this is going to be fine. We've got plenty of power. The max power is all the way up here because I still have those bio burners. And the way those bio burners work, they won't, in, they won't output power unless they absolutely need to. So right now, everything is running off the cold gens. And our max construction here, the max amount of power our construction can pull is 227. And our power production max for the coal gens is 225. So if we did ever hit max construction, then they would start to burn the biofuel. And it would be time to add another coal gen. But for right now, I'm going to let a bunch of this run because I'm trying to fill up steel plates and steel tubes so that I can be able to make more of those Mark II miner, miners. I think my immediate goal is going to be I'm going to run... probably run another one of these over there. Because see, here's the thing. is like, I don't want to run too many coal gens off just this one uh, coal node. Because each one of these guys, like I said, burns 15 uh, coal per minute. And at base, at its base value, this thing puts out 60. Now I could put the, the overclock things in and pump it up. But these conveyor belts also only handle up to a maximum of, what is it, uh, 120 or 270 resources per minute. So they can handle a lot more than this. Uh, I could actually feed two coal guys into one conveyor line, and that would be plenty of coal. It's just there's a lot of conjiggering, and I'm trying to keep it simple so that I can come back and explain it to people and not have it be super big confusing <laughs> trying to keep it simple so eventually i might start throwing more gens that way i can't go over that 60 because that's how much that, that guy otherwise i'm gonna have to start overclocking him and i don't want to do that because that just consumes more power these pumps consume 20 con, uh, consume 20 power so each one of these gens only puts out 75 so you minus 20 from your total there. Okay, so you have 75. Obviously, 75 times 2 is 150. Plus another 75 is where, you, where you're going to get that 225. Okay, but from that, you have to minus 40 to run the pumps. That's a part that trips pe can, uh, that can trip people up in this game is that They'll be like, oh, yeah, they're putting out this much, but how come I'm not getting that much return? Or it will seem like you're not getting that much return. Well, because the pumps. Because <laughs> in order to keep those running, you have to have the pumps running. <laughs> so you lose however to however the total in it uh, is for the pumps that you're running. So that right there is 40. I lose 40 out of the 225 that I'm getting from that. So I have to make sure the rest of my production is set to compensate for that and not push super close to that 225. I have to stay 40, at least 40 below that to keep things running. Otherwise, I'm going to overload the power and things are going to shut down. And once these suckers shut down, you need another power source unless they have water in them. If they completely drain themselves of water, uh, it, it's a pain in the butt to get that restarted. So that's looking good for right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. I just wanted to show everything that I did off camera. And from this point on, because we got that phase two that we're going to start working towards once I get a few more things built up, that's going to take me a long while to get to that point. So I think from this point on, I'm going to what I'm going to start doing with this series is I'm going to start doing highlights 
where a lot of it I will probably end up playing off camera just to kind of make sure that there's steady progress between videos. And then I'll come back occasionally with highlights of this is where I'm at now. Uh, because I know I've said in the past couple of videos, I don't like doing a lot off camera generally for, for these types of it, for gameplay videos because it feels disingenuine. But in the particular case of this game, so much, it takes so much time to get so many things uh, at the start of the game going that if I were to just come back and do, if I was to continue to come back and do incremental videos of, of the minuscule progress that I'm making, this series would be over a hundred videos long, and I don't want that. I don't want to. I don't want a hundred videos of boring on my channel. So we're probably just going to start doing highlights from here on out, where I'm going to play it off camera, regardless, and try and get as far as I can. And then when I get to a point where I feel like enough progress has been made. I can do a video and, and do a highlight of like where every, where I'm at with everything and all the cool unique things that I've built since the last video. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Click that subscribe button and also the like button. And I will see everybody in the next video. Bye.